Okay, so now we'll talk about multiplication in other bases. Multiplication. Well, to multiply in other bases is pretty much the same thing that we did when we were adding and subtracting. You have to remember that any calculation that you do in your mind is actually a base 10 calculation. So for instance, if I wanted to multiply uh, 35 base 6 by, let's say, 24 base 6, let's say I wanted to do this multiplication. Well, when I multiply the 4 by the 5, 4 times 5 is 20. But that 20 is a base 10 number, which I have to convert to a base 6 number. So, 20 base 10. Well, how many groups of 6 are there in the number 20? There are exactly 3 groups of 6 in the number 20. And that takes us to 18. And then the remainder upon dividing 20 by 6 is 2. So the number 20 base 10 is actually a 32 in base 6. So what we want to do, we want to record the 1's digit, record the 2. And we want to carry the 10's digit over. So we carry the 3. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So we're going to multiply 4 by 3. 4 times 3 is actually 12, but that's a 12 base 10. And actually, because it's 12 base 10, I shouldn't do that. Because it's 12 base 10, I'm going to take that 12 base 10 and add it to the 3 that I have up here. And 12 plus 3 is 15. So this actually gives me a 15 base 10, which I'm going to convert to a base 6 number. So the base 6 number, how many groups of 6 are there in 15? There are two groups of 6. And the remainder is 3. So the number 15 base 10 is actually the number 23 base 6. So here I have my 23. All right, so now I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on and multiply the 2. So I'm going to distribute the 2 now. So I add a 0, just like we would if we were dividing uh, or multiplying base 10. I add the 0 in for that place value. And now I'm going to multiply 2 by 5. Well, 2 by 5 is 10. That's 10 base 10, which I have to convert to a base 6 number. Well, let's see. How many groups of 6 are there in 10? There's one group of 6 and 10, leaving four ones remaining. So it turns out that 10 base 10 is actually 14 base 6. So I record the 4, and I carry the 1. And then 2 times 3, well, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. That's a 7 base 10, though. And I need to convert that base 10 number into a base 6 number. Well, there's one group of 6 in 7, leaving a remainder of 1. So 7 base 10 is actually 11 base 6. So I record my 1 and my 1. And now it comes to the addition step. All right, let's see. Well, 2 plus 0 is 2. Any number smaller than 6 is the same base 10 as it is base 6. So I can record my 2 base 6 down here. 3 plus 4 is 7. We already have said that 7 base 10 is actually 11 base 6. So I record the 1, and I carry the 1. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. That's the same in base 6 and in base 10. And then we bring down the 1. So it turns out that this product, 35 base 6 times 24 base 6, is actually 1,412 base 6. All right. Let's try that same thing with a base larger than 10. So let's see, let's do, let's multiply uh, A7 base uh, 12 by uh, 5B base 12. And what you have to remember is in base 12, the numerals from 0 to 9 are still the same, but the numeral for 10 is A. So A is the numeral for 10. And the numeral for uh, 11, the numeral for 11 is B. And we don't need a numeral for 12 because we only need numerals for 0 and all the counting numbers that are less than the base, which is 12. So those are the two numerals that have been added in here, A and B. Well, let's see here. 
So, when I multiply B, which is, which is actually 11, by 7, I get 77, but that 77 is base 10. So I need to convert that to a base 12 number. So I first need to ask, how many groups of 12 are there in the number 77? Well, there are six groups of 12 in the number 77, and the remainder is 5. So it turns out that 77 base 10 is actually 65 base 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record the 5 below here, and I'm going to carry the 6. Okay, now I move on to B times A. Well, B times A is really 10 times 11, and 10 times 11 is 110, and 110 plus 6, well, that's 116, but that's a base 10 number. So what I need to do now is I need to see how many groups of uh, 12 there are in 100 and 16. Well, there are 9 groups of 12 in 116. And let me see. 18. That's 108. So I have 8 as the remainder. I have 8 as the remainder. So it's 116 base 10 is actually 98 base 12. So I record uh, the 98 here. And then I move on to the next numeral. So I'm going to add a 0, just like I would with normal multiplication. And then 5 times 7, well 5 times 7 is 35. That's 35 base 10. I need to convert that to base 12. Well how many groups of 12 are there in 35? Well there are two groups of 12 and 35 because a third group would take me to 36. So there are two groups of 12 and 35 and the remainder is, well let's see, 2 times 12 is 24 so the remainder would actually be 11. 11. And 11 we say we use the numeral B to represent 11. So 35 base 10 is actually 2B base 12. So I record the B, and I carry the 2 over. Now I'm multiplying 5 times A, which is actually the number 10. 5 times A is 50, plus 2 is 52. So I have 52 base 10, which needs to be converted to a base 12 number. Well, how many groups of 12 are there in 52? There are 4 groups of 12 in 52, and the remainder, well that's 48, so the remainder is, is 4. So 52 base 10 is actually 44 base 12, so I record the 4 and the 4. And now it's time to add. Well 5 plus 0 is 5, which is the same base 12 as base 10. 8 plus B, well B is 11, so 8 plus B is actually 19. That's 19 base 10. So let's see. 19 base 10 is actually, well, how many groups of 12 are there in, ten, in 19? There's one group of 12 in 19, and the remainder is 7. So 19 base 10 is actually 17 base 12. So I record the 7, and I carry the 1. Let me see. 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 base 10, well how many groups of 12 are there in 14? There is one group of 12 in 14 leaving a remainder of 2. So 14 base 10 is actually 12 base 12. So I record the 2 and I carry the 1. And 4 plus 1 is 5. So it turns out that A7 base 12 times 5B base 12 is actually 5,275 base 12. And that is how you multiply in different bases.